Hezbollah forces and their allied army units have made advances on Marib governorate to liberate it from Saudi-backed militants. Military sources say that Ansarla and its allies are just several kilometers away from Marib city and are close to liberating it. The Marib governorate is the last stronghold of Saudi-backed militants in Yemen. Ansarla and its allies began their operations to feed last month. Almost 100 people have reportedly been killed on both sides. Reports also saying that Saudi Arabia has dispatched more troops to Marib to help the militants there. At the same time, terrorists are providing them with assistance too. That according to Yemeni intelligence. Now, uh, to get some more information on this and this special coverage on Yemen, joining me will be a couple of guests. We'll have our own correspondent, Abdul Latif al Washali, in Sana. And we also have Saab Shath, author and Middle East affairs expert, joining us out of Belfast. Welcome to the special coverage on Yemen, both gentlemen. Let's first go to Sana to our correspondent, Abdul Latif, there. Abdul Latif, tell us about the advance that's been going on, the operation by the Ansarla fighters. Uh, getting closer to Marib, what the situ situation like, and are we close uh, to hear some good news? Uh, thank you so much. The Yemeni army is getting to the uh, center of the city. They have controlled uh, 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 recently the uh, Al Balak Mountains, which is overlooking the city of Marib. There are also military reports saying the Surah front has uh, collapsed. The Yemeni army keeps advancing toward the city. Uh, 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 the uh, offensive will not stop until the, until the liberation of the city, according to the Ministry of Defense in Sana'a. Uh, the uh, Yemeni army uh, keeps advancing from the west and the east of uh, uh, Marib. There are also some news saying the uh, uh, confirming the withdrawal of the uh, Saudi forces from the uh, city and also the Tadi uh, government have uh, uh, has uh, sent uh, uh, forces from the uh, south of to reinforce the uh, forces in Marib. Now let's turn to uh, Belfast, uh, uh, Mr. Shah. Uh, we had this news of uh, Al Qaeda, also terrorists going to the to abet and assist uh, the Saudi uh, allied mercenaries. Uh, where uh, could they have come from? Who's behind this? And the fact here, uh, the Yemeni government in Sana'a uh, runs the affairs of over 80% of the Yemeni people in, uh, in the country uh, uh, who resides in these uh, areas controlled by the uh, revolutionary committees, the Houthis, and the uh, government uh, of Yemen. The Saudi occupation forces and their militants uh, take, as you mentioned in your, uh, now, and uh, the puppets deposed by President Hadi Hassan, uh, former President uh, Mansour, uh, are controlling fractions of, uh, uh, of areas which reside in it under 20% uh, of the people. The support comes for these uh, militants are from mercenaries, or from Emiratis, or from Al Qaeda, uh, which is in there. And we've seen reports in, from the beginning of the conflict of Al Qaeda uh, being uh, placed in an area controlled by Emirati forces in the south and uh, in the north of Yemen, uh, close enough to the north of Yemen, with the support of the Saudis as well. And the Americans uh, are uh, very much aware of all of this. Uh, but uh, since Ma'rib is a major now uh, and the collapsing of Ma'rib means uh, uh, practically the end of the Saudi occupation in major of uh, most of Yemen. Uh, th that means uh, Al Qaeda have to act quick because that means as well the elimination of Al Qaeda uh, from uh, Yemen. And there are, as I said, uh, these Al Qaeda forces in Yemen and the other militants. It's an outfit of the same uh, organization. It's another face of, uh, to the Saudis, uh, Zionists, and American-supported occupation in Yemen. It's not strange to see that. Uh, the fact is there, but they need people to uh, pinpoint it. And uh, Mr. Shah, this is almost, uh, it's getting close to six years since the uh, Saudi against Yemen. And you know, Yemen was already a poor country facing lots of problems and a you know, divided government and all that. And still, uh, they have been able to 
pull up resistance against uh, all these aggression. What's behind the failure on the part of uh, Saudi Arabia and its allies? Uh, to begin with, uh, we witnessed the Saudis when they buy weaponry from the United Kingdom or the United States of America, and this issue has been in the news lately. They even buy the operators of the weapons. They don't operate weapons themselves. They are not that, uh, as they claim, have big armies or that. Uh, they depend all along. The Saudis in Saudi Arabia depend on Pakistani armies, on Maghreb, uh, from Morocco, on and others, and uh, from the forces. Uh, so they, 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 they buy mercenaries and they buy other people to fight. We witness in Yemen, they brought the Sudanese, uh, Senegal forces and many other countries to support them. Uh, and even in, in, uh, in, uh, in targeting uh, uh, by, by fighter jets, uh, they have coordinates from the United States of America. Obama's uh, uh, former administration supplied the Saudis of all of that and helped them. And the Israelis helped them in imposing uh, the blockade on Yemen. Uh, so they don't have uh, the ability to manage and to run a real fighting machine. While the Yemenis are resilient, uh, they, they call them, they fight with, without ch choose lists. Uh, and they climb the mountains and face all of this sophisticated machinery and they develop their capabilities because the Yemenis have a cause. The Yemenis are defending their homeland and they are uh, rebelling from their, the, the aggressors. While the Saudis are fulfilling agendas of the United States of America and the Zionist entity. Uh, and that's different. When you are defending your homeland, you will sacrifice everything to defeat the enemy. And the Saudis don't have uh, the the will or the or the means to to to, to continue the fight without uh, the continuous bombardment and direction of the United States of America. Even the new administration of Joe Biden, which says demanding the Saudis and, and their for, famous compromise with the before Elizabeth with his left wing and the Democrats to stop the war in Yemen. It's all just uh, 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 you know uh, uh, hypocrisy, but in real terms. They are backing and they are giving the Saudis whatever they want till today. We want to see real change in the policies in there to affect the Saudis because this war is an American war. Once the United States of America wants to stop, it will stop. Okay. Thank you very much for your comments and contribution. We had uh, our own uh, correspondent, Abdul Latif al Washali, in the Yemeni capital city of Sana, and also uh, Saab Shath, author and Middle East affairs expert, who joined us from. Belfast with his comments and contribution. And that's it for this special coverage on Yemen.